Hey, what's up everybody? It's the hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to quickly and easily add audio keyframes to any clip on your edit page in DaVinci Resolve. So here I have this long clip. It's already processed, so I actually don't have any issues with the audio whatsoever. But let's just assume that I have a really loud point and I have a really low point and I kind of want to make those adjustments just to those individual parts without it affecting the rest of the clip. Just for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and cut this into a small clip. Now, if you hover above your audio clip, you'll get to a point where your cursor changes to these little arrows up and down. If you click, hold and drag, this allows you to either increase or decrease the DB or the volume of your audio clip just for this individual clip. No matter how many other clips you have, this will only affect the clip that you're clicking on. Let's go back to zero. To add an audio keyframe on a PC, all you have to do is hold alt and then go ahead and click when you see the little arrow symbol and that adds one keyframe. Go ahead and click on another. So we're going to go ahead and put an audio keyframe for this area here that's a little bit quieter. Let's say hypothetically we wanted that louder. Now I can easily adjust just this area. I can increase the dB or even just decrease it. But I can go ahead and adjust an audio area without having to do it to the whole clip. Now with having these audio keyframes, the last keyframe you have allows you to make a change to the rest of that clip, as you can see here, without it affecting what's before. If you want to raise or lower a specific area, you're going to need a keyframe before, a keyframe after, and at least one keyframe in the middle area. Or if it's a larger section, say for example, several words here, I'm going to do a keyframe a little bit before, a keyframe right before, a keyframe right at the end of what I want to adjust, and a keyframe slightly after that. And now this section in between has a whole area that can be adjusted together with a little natural ramp down or ramp up just to make it sound a little bit more organic. If you want to get rid of any keyframes, just have it selected and then press the delete key. Now let's say we have multiple clips and we do a keyframe and make an adjustment just to one clip. When you move that clip, the keyframe stays on that clip, no matter where you put the clip, which is awesome. So you don't have to worry about your keyframes being stuck to the actual timeline. They stay attached to your clip. This is extremely handy and makes it easy to make quick adjustments to any audio clips. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to add keyframes to your audio in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. And please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.